Hey YouTubers, welcome back to listen to some more Grand Master Corrin 606 here. And tonight in this video, we're going to be doing the Legendary Heroes Home, the Saint King Banner. This is a really amazing banner, and uh, if you guys are wondering, hey, why does the screen change? So, you guys remember, remember the I could no longer able to play the menu emulator. So, now I can play the Nox emulator now. Get a couple of steps uh, to make sure everything works perfectly, and... Yeah, so I want to thank Nox, Nox Emulator to bring the game back finally because I remember two years ago I wasn't able to play the game because some some stuff then. This is where I got many years now I'm going to have to Nox. Basically, I'm going sequence by sequence, you know? That's what's up. And we already had a 10% focus summon as I spent some orbs to just increase the pay rate or whatever the hell not. So. Anyways, uh, today we're just going to look for all three colors units of Fade over my production units. And, um, that was basically it. So I got Claire and Libar. Those two are really not good units, actually. I'm, I'm telling you guys that right now. So, um, that is basically what I'm doing. And I haven't been building these 70 sessions in a while because I'm failing to find a vendor who is up to my standards. Um, sucks. And um, once I find some, once I found someone, I was like, okay, cool. I found a vendor. He's very cool. He's really cool. He, he speaks on a different language, but I'm sure I can understand him sometimes in the future. Um, and um, I'll see what type of stuff that he's gonna be able to get to me. He speaks of he speaks of Vietnam, which. It is a really weird language. Language. Like, it's really weird. And I'm going to be pulling Legendary Ike on this list as my first 5 star from the banner. But he has Warring Breath. I'm hoping this guy is neutral. That is all I'm hoping for. Minus Speed plus Resistance. So he's going to get fodder off. He's definitely going to get fodder off. And, um. And we'll see how that's going to be working out. So, let's get into the next one. Next batch, uh, Legendary Arc already on the summon, so summon session. That is pretty good. Um, he got Sporting Breath, but anyways, continuing on to the flow. So I've been getting new friends, uh, who's gonna be working with my services, because I'm, um, I'm a metal man person, to be honest, and I've been doing this for two years now, working my way towards inviting people over to vendoring services. Uh, well, I used to work for a guy named Frey, and then to quit on us, because, F, uh, because, they are increasing, are increasing their securities like super crazy, and I'm not sure how long they're gonna keep doing this. Uh, for all they know, all they know is that one of one of my one of my jesters goes by the name Zelo. Actually, increases prices to 140 dollars for forty dollars. We all know I cannot, I can't afford this. So I'm thinking thirty dollars, twenty bucks would be good enough. The pass was really good, um, but. Like I said, the past is the past. Gotta move on. Because, you know, Book Free is called Hell's. It's called Hell's site. Before I have been turned dark and. So I don't know, crap. But, like I said, it's pretty a respectable banner, and. I hope we can learn more creation. Alright, guys, so we're back, and we just pulled Alm at the uh, last second. Sorry, my brother came in there. I'm at my par I'm at my parents' bedroom right now, to be honest, because I can't find a quiet, quiet place. And I know there's a phone literally right next to me. But here's all um, the Saint King. I finally got him, and he's our Earth blessing. But this is IVs plus HP minus resistance. That is really good. That is actually really good. So he has Lunar Orc, and he gets Moonbo, Lunar Flash, which is the upgradable version of Moonbo. Starting below four, very amazing. No fall up, of course. I'm gonna be replacing our desperation, and then all attack wait for. I'm gonna be putting a Brave Bow plus set on him, and I'm probably gonna be adding Rest to Call Eighth in the set because I know he can. He is capable of doing Luna Flash twice, which is amazing. And I'll put Flash twice to save our seal. So that's amazing. I got all um, at nearly about 120 hours. I just got all um, very amazing actually. Um. But I'm gonna see if I can try to pull a feather IV on. Because if I get a second on, then Darian Blue 4 is definitely gonna be a skill that I want to give up for it. 
Darn Below 4, most likely, because you cannot pass Luna Flash, because why not? Luna Flash is just a terrible summon. Luna Flash is just way too good. Imagine Ryan Hart carrying Luna Flash. Imagine that. That's going to be really broke. Imagine that. And speaking of the legendary heroes, I'm hoping for, um, hopefully Erica will come home to me, or Leon. One of the two. Leon. Because I need a B I need a Leon because I need a B stance, and Erica's because... Who knows? I need Erica because I like to, I want to have every single Eric I want to have every single Erica on my game. Because it feels like I have every single Camilla in the game so far, and I really don't not like Camilla as a character. Camilla is just too much of a thought, to be honest. And I would never- and I had so many, so many shifts that my Instagram fan page would send me, oh, Cora and Camilla being together and stuff like that. Like, no, that's not how that goes. If I rather want to shift Camilla with someone, I'd rather shift Camilla with Benny, to be honest, because I think that Camilla is a suitable character for Benny, to be honest. That's what I think. And I'm going to be pulling another arm. Are you serious? I, that is my second arm I'm pulling. Holy crap. That is two arms. Guys, that's the second arm over here. Ah, uh, too bad. This is minus speed plus resistance. So, ah, uh, too bad. Two arms. That is pretty good. Two arms, alright. That is amazing. Too bad this one's minus speed, so that sucks. Oh, God. Minus speed arm. That is. God, that is two arms I pull. I really want to merge him, but. Chrome says that I don't. I don't. Mer I do not merge legendary heroes at all unless. Unless there's a possible way I can get a plus 10 version of it super quickly in the entire Sony session pull. The problem with that being is that it takes more than it's 8%. But we all know, we all know what type of bullshit that the, the pity rate, pity break does. We all know that. 8% bullshit. So it will take, it takes, it takes about maybe 3,000 orbs to even get a plus 10. If you're fair, you know, if you get lucky, if you get really lucky, then you can get a less dead. 2,000 orbs, if you're lucky enough, and uh, that is just that. So I have two arms already, which is amazing. That is amazing. Two arms. Um, I'll take it as a granted. Let's see what we're gonna get. A Felicia. Felicia's really good, to be honest. I love Felicia. I already have a 5-star Felicia. Best IVs in the game. I'm still looking for a Felicia alt, which is a, which I might do something about it. But Felicia alt is amazing, just amazing. And we got another Sizzle. I don't know why I'm getting Sizzle too much. Sizzle only has Poison Strike as a good father skill. Don't know why. Two reds and three greens. That's fine. Because greens, I'm hoping to. Uh, I'm looking for Bay and Sue. Now Sue specifically because Sue has Home Speed four. Which I will be equipping that to Legendary Zero once I have the once I have the chance, and just give, and I'll just get give a Zero ta a tactic skill as a sacred seal, because I want I want all my I want all my units to have at least plus seven all stats, and it's gonna be really hard to be honest. All right, so we're gonna be pulling Legendary Roy on the list. He has the bonus double or is bothering. Now, I already have a plus speed of him, so I'm not sure if I have any better IVs of him. This is plus attack, so... I actually want plus attack, but since my Roy has plus speed, he needs to be able to double, so... Roy's amazing. If you don't have Roy, I suggest you do it. He has Bones Double or Freak, which I'm going to be passing his dump. I will be definitely finding him off for Bonus Doubler. One of the, it's one of the great skills in the game, actually. So, believe me or believe me not, but it's super amazing. I want to pull someone like that. Roy is just amazing. It's Roy or Boy. And I just got Roy last month, which is amazing. Two months ago, I pulled Roy. Two months ago. And I, I, only, I was able to only pull Roy after 20 words. So, that's amazing. Me, Faye, and Sue. So, that is it. And so, if it was, I'm hoping to get a Nyla on the list. Now, I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but most of these units, pulling from the list, are from half of book three and half of book two. I don't think you guys realize this, but I'll give you guys some. 
elderly practically. So there is the Camilla that everyone wants and love. Alright, so let's get to the next one. I hope I do not pull off yarn because if I pull off yarn, then that is one of the resting pieces for me. And I hope I avoid Legendary Morph in the list. Legendary Morph does not have any good skills, to be honest. Other than Attack Speed of Bond. But I really don't want to see Legendary Morph in the list. But if I do get one, then Attack Speed of Bond, I will be definitely passing this to my Brave Veronica. Because I've been looking for. Like, I've literally been looking for that skill for, I don't know, a while now. So, hope I can get a copy of that. Sylvia, he yeah, hasn't been looking for you. I've been looking for you all day. Sylvia's amazing. But I'm looking for your daughter, Lee, actually. I'd like to be able to play a plus 10 a year, and I want to get a plus 10 Lee. Now, speaking of FE4, um, I actually love Lee, to be honest. Ling is actually one of my favorite characters on FE4. Because Ling and Ling hits. Now, Ling doesn't hit, which is a good thing, but Ling's dance skill is just really good. And if we put this up in stuff, some stuff, like if, for example, um, we face Renhard in FE5. We're going to face H. We do fa face H. Char FE4 and FE5, I believe so. And Ishtar is a villain, but I see Ishtar as a good person in the end. She's more of an anti-hero because I got two celebs and one circle. Are you serious? I just believe that Ishtar is more of an anti-hero and Reinhardt is an anti-hero too instead of a an, an evil corrupted person. I just believe so. Because in her description, she didn't want it in the description, she secretly worked with Arvis in order to save the children's, and Ishtar care about the children's. And I think she probably got that from Alwyn, most likely, or Ryher, one of, one of the two. I believe she's more of an anti-hero, but she only follow, but she wants. She's bad because she just wants to follow Julius's order and keep her life safe. So I feel bad for her, actually. I feel bad. I feel very bad for her. Um, now as for Echoes, I the Echoes from the 3DS version. A lot of people have been asking me about Echoes recently. Fire Emblem Echoes is not really my favorite game to be played on the, the 3DS. It's like, it actually made Echoes really bad, actually, to be honest, because Echoes is just it's not one of the component elements that I just, I just didn't feel like playing Echoes for that long, and I was able to complete the game, but it wasn't that good at all. Like, and some of these, some of these are ridiculous. For example, I couldn't recruit Tantiana or Zeke at the beginning of the, at the beginning of my first playthrough, which sucks. I didn't because I didn't even know what I was doing. This was a blind. I was doing a blind playthrough of it myself. I didn't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do. So now I gotta be able to play the game once again because by the age nine. And here's a really good circle. I two greens and three colorless. So. There's nothing I can really do. Uh, I've been working my butt off for the last months or so. It's just that. Now, I do want to buy um, cards um, because, because I play with PayPal and I buy gift cards from Publix, which is where I work at. And then I wanted to make sure that I wanted to be able to look really good on my, my record. Because 30 30, it is $35 for 140 orbs. He never told me anything about that shit, but whatever. It's it's like that. So I gotta remember the next time I do this. And we're gonna get another guys. Legendary St. K Mom, are you serious? That is like Alright, so we just put another legendary arm St. Kang. Are you serious? It's just that issues has been occurring recently. Anyways, Ivy's please. Oh god, Maya's attack um Maya's attack, guys. That is two arms. Three arms. I pull now. What if I get a plus five arm? That would be really amazing. If I get five arms. <laughs> if I get five arms. That's two arms I pull already. That's amazing. So I pulled two arms. Two very bad IVs and one decent. I think I up. <laughs> oh gods. I swear, if I get it done wrong, I'll be, I'll be very sad. I'll be very sad. Alright, so we're, we're, we're halfway done, actually. Um, Orb's bow, and the weakest is blue. 
<laughs> blue is the weakest color for me because Fiora's in there. That makes the that makes the blue value very some um, very least likely. And as far as five star Nala, okay, that's cool. Five star Nala to return with this. Okay, that's cool. Plus attack my speed. I don't have any feelings about this. I don't have any feelings about this. Perker Pulse maybe it's a sacred seal? I don't know. Do have distance counter, so that's good. I might have to use Glamour instead because I ha I might have to use Glamour on the next set. Alright. So red, green, and colorless. Because green is the second strongest one in the in the entire list. Seth, okay. So Nyla, that's amazing. Got a Nyla. I got Nyla as a I got Nyla as a hero. We're all know Nyla is really good in the game. King, okay. King, okay. seven King. Not bad. All right, great ones. Got a four star race then. I'll be all right. I'll be okay with a four star race in any day now. Got a Fey. That's the wrong Fey, but okay. I already have a, pl I already have a plus 10 for Star Merge her. Nope, it's Jacob. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's get into the next batch. Free blue. Oh, guys, this is a really bad summoning circle. I don't mind if I get a couple more discounts because I already have. Because I pulled Hector out of one of the tickets for the the Brave Hero Summoning special. Which is fine. I guess this is counter. I'll easily pass it on to somebody else. And here's Bjorn. I knew why Bjorn wanted to be so good. We got Fiorn on the list. One of the gods. And she's even my speed. She doesn't have any skills that's good for foddering. I would say Shell Pulse is her only Bingy Majig Shell Pulse. Maybe Drive Attack 2 if that's even worth it. I already have Delphia, already have Delphia for that. No wonder why Fiorn loses the buff. Plus, we have Ruckner for attack and defense blind. Okay, so we got Mordecai. One of the newest heroes I got demoted. That's good. I got Morikai. He's my exact list bit. Are you serious? What does Morikai even get at Forest and Earth? Maybe it could be worth it? And he gets beast experience free at Forest and Earth. Of course, I'm not going to give him attack and defense link free at that early stage on. Of course, he's not going to not gonna give Morikai that skill. At least he's my father, I guess. Beast experience free, showing your B in the list. Should be attack and defense, link free. Now we now tell systems knows that it could be any skill. It could be a new skill, it could be an old skill, whoever. We got Wheeze. The hell when you know Wheeze in the list. Free blues once again. Um I think the last blue I need from the list is Retro Map from, but I'm not gonna get any new runner units this year. That's gonna suck. Oh, we got another Fjorn. That is the second Fjorn. I mean, oh, guys. Is this bad really good or, or is this bad broken or something? This is a plus attack minus defense. So that's good. But I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna fire off because I need that free to play Fjorn for my. I need that free to play Fjorn to do the guides. In case something happens. And here's my next Noe. Great. Good job. I need another Noe anyways for my for my future merges. Okay, go to Shigori. Restart Shigori. Let's go to the next. Uh Titania, okay.
got out of Felicia. Yeah. All right, that's fine. He's in game five stars. So I'm amazing. Two blues. Four. Okay, two blues in everywhere. Okay, blues are everywhere. I wish I can avoid the blues. I wish I can, but I'm not gonna do it because they're gonna force me to pull the yarns. Which is not a unit I really want. Oh, there's Shannon. Thank God, we have the inspiration fighter now. Definitely doing this to all of them, actually. Because why not? It's amazing. Okay, yeah, May. May, May, May. Wish I could plus 10 May, but May's was... Okay, I'm gonna be serious right now. May used to be one of my favorite blue mages because May was like... I went... May sweeping everyone like crazy in a long time. Put for a desperation, that was no joke. And there was Legendary Morph! Guys, seriously, we got a Legendary Morph? Alright, so I have My attack plus defense. Okay, I'm fine with that. You have a tag speed bond? Tag and speed bond, if it knows what it is. Yeah, so I'm definitely, I'm going to be definitely passing this to Veronica. Brave Veronica for this one. She is dying to have a tag and speed bond. Have Legendary Morph. She's dying to have that. So now Veronica has another doll she can another doll she can pop right open. Bam. Get that attack and speed on and slap it up to her. Next year I should keep spending orders until I can find a bunch of Erica or something. Because I'm not pulling any of the good units. I mean you guys have got a multiple arms, but seriously. Alright, two blues and three reds. I can hopefully try to get Winter Ephraim out of the list. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so we got a Gremlin. And I think I'm gonna be spinning on multiple different banners. Because why not? I might have to do that. And I'm trying my best to make a banner video once, one, once a month. Upper row. But yeah, but all vendors are slowly dying right now. You know, it's always nice. Very free feather. That's always nice. And of course, our Henry. One of those Henry's plus defense. That's what I want to know. Yes, he's plus defense, but he's minus resistance. Actually, that's fine because he's gonna have a plus defense ivy once I merge him. So that's a good idea. I think I should merge him right next. Up to Chrome. And we have no sell off. Alright, so we're down to so many orbs left. Not kidding. I have two blues. Not bad. I'm hoping more colors and green orbs coming through. I really don't need any blue, more blue orbs because I can keep getting can, can can multiple Fjorns. I got two Fjorns already in Sunny Session and three Alms already. Alm is really amazing in the banner, which is why I decided to summon on this banner. Alright, and we got an FB on this list. Not bad. Okay, let's get to the red one next. Green and colorless. Now the reason why I do this order like this is because I want to make sure that if something bad happens, then I can get the good ones going live. Because I think I learned this from someone very worthwhile. One of my friends taught one of my friends says that if you summon the best calls for last, you're gonna get the best heroes for the last. Basically like prime time Pokemon model and Pokemon cards and stuff like that. You put the reverse and the rare in the backs. So I just think that the colorless I'm doing is the rarest one because all because it has all Aricot and Leon I could possibly pull, which is something I want. Out of all the heroes of the Colors Ball, I'd rather pull Erica out of all. Um, she's a freaking mountain. She's a freaking armor healer, guys. Freaking armor healer. So we're at 9% right now. And, oh, look at that. Two colorless and two greens. Amazing. Okay, got another Metella. 
I already have. I do not. No, I no longer have a Matilda. To be honest, um, I really need. To, I really do want to have a Matilda back as my party now. Because I fought her off. She wasn't working on my team anymore. Alright, so next up is gonna be the green. Okay, we got Cecilia. Not bad. Okay, Viridian. God, I hate you so much, Viridian. Viridian sucks. Obviously, it sucks. And we got an rares. Good job. Not rares that nobody cares for. I'll take all this. Nice. I'll summon those first. That way I can get them out of here. Jacob. Okay. Okay, we got a Nana. And I'm gonna save this 45 orbs. I wanna make sure I have zero orbs left at the end of the summoning session. And I'm getting Nino. I'm gonna exit out this one. Okay, we have 45 orbs left. 10% right now. Let me really sad if I don't pull anything good. Start the res and go all the way to Colos. We don't know who I'm gonna be getting. Roy and I can do some really good followings. To be honest, got drug. Nobody cares for you. Erica, got your wrong one. Looking for the the healer one, the Christmas one. What I'm looking for. Ellie Wood. Got a Zomia. Alright, then we gotta get the last one. And we're getting another Saint came on. Oh my god! Seriously! And this is another Mice to take off! <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Got another Mice to take off. So, I think that is it for me. This banner, actually. No went to Erica, very sadly. But I did pull multiple arms in this banner. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to another banner that I wanted to use my spending my last orbs on. And we're gonna be choosing the Season for Picnics banner, because why the hell not? Alright, so we gotta pick one carefully. Um I'm gonna pick blue, that's it. Do nothing about it. Let's see what we can get. I'm gonna go Sully, that's it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and spend the last 20 orbs. What we get is what we get. 3.25%. And I wanna see what we get actually. All colors are available. So we have two chances to get Felicia and one chance to get all the other ones. We'll start with we'll start with Jenny, of course. And we'll do Lucas and Flora and Felicia, because that gives me two chances to get Felicia. Now, Cora is not going to be getting a Jenny. Well, the other ones can't hurt, shall we? Okay, 
Okay, here's a Matilda. Another one of those. Disgusting. Cheeto. Alright, two orbs left, guys. Not sure how I'm gonna feel. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Hopefully, I can get Felicia. I have one of those two orbs. Hopefully, I can get Felicia. Or something. Please be Felicia. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, but we feel one of the last two, and we're gonna go to our last summoning circle. The last summon for this video. Please be a Felicia or any five stars at the end, please. And it's gonna be a free start. And the last card we're gonna be playing is another boy. Two boys for one. Anyways, guys, I wanna thank you everyone for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, you know what to do. Like, check, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And you have a great day. Thank you and have a good day.